and coaches who have arrived. Ruud van Nistelrooy we saw already yeah, arrived. He's done some as well. He's done weekly, has already gone through, so we won't see them in this show, but plenty of players still to arrive. As they come into Old Trafford, what do you think will be and their expectations, their hopes, and what will they look to do against the Greeks tonight? Well, they obviously have to be wary of the fact that the head in the table of the what everybody classes as the big three teams, Panathinaikos, Olympiakos and AEK Athens. So, And they're, they're only a point behind, I think, their, their local city rivals in Aris. So they're not to be underestimated, but I do feel as though this is a real chance now for Manchester United, another home game. Listen, they've had two away draws in Europe. You will take an away draw. Yeah. The disappointing thing was not beating 20 in the opening game. Otherwise, tonight probably would have been a little bit more relaxed. So it is important that they do get the three points tonight and just move them further up that table, which inevitably that will do. You might have heard the gasp of excitement behind as the crowd have identified a few of the players arriving, so they will be walking through very shortly. Um, in the Powak ranks, a certain Shola Shoratire. Yeah. I had the pleasure of catching up with him yesterday in the open training session. You can see that interview on the Manchester United app right now. A great homecoming for Shola. Yeah, of course it is, and especially on a big European night anyway. Um, he's going to be looking to impress not just the, you know, the people that he's left behind, but obviously he's his new boss as well. He's not been there that long, uh, but they are having a good season, and obviously he's he, you know he's been a part of that. Yeah. So yeah, you know, good. The best of luck to him. He had to make the decision, as many of us do, to to move on to ensure first team football, and he's made the the biggest step by moving to Europe. Yeah, only twenty. It was a brave move uh, by Shola. Um, players starting to arrive. As you see, Diogo Dallo, Anthony. Alejandro Garnacho, Ahmad Diallo all arriving. Um, you're expecting the likes of Diogo and Alejandro Garnacho to start because it's an important game and we need people like Diogo and, okay. and Garner to be on it today. Yeah, Ahmad as well and Anthony, we're hoping... Need all of him. Boys. Yes, Ahmad. Need all of him. Anthony, good luck tonight. All right, you OK? They need performances tonight and we want to see some goals and let's hope we do because... So far, Rude set the team up in a very attacking way. Against Chelsea, it was a bit more even, wasn't it? And possession was pretty much shared. But certainly, if Leicester City in the Carabao Cup was the blueprint, Rude wants goals tonight. Yeah, he does. He does. And I think, you know, we all do. And that was a, it was refreshing to watch how they played against Leicester. Um, obviously, against much better opposition on, on Sunday against Chelsea, it was it, it was a little bit of a leveller. But that's what we want to see, and that's what they need, because you never know if it does come down to goal difference in the end, where you finish, then the amount that you score, and especially at home, will, will definitely come into it and be a key factor. We missed uh, announcing Christian Eriksen arriving. He's got a cap on there. You can see him, and after missing the game against Chelsea. We thought he might be ready for that. Unfortunately, he wasn't. Mm -hmm. It's a shame because he has been in really good form, providing goals and assists. So it's good to see Christian back there. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, he, he has been in great form. Uh, when you consider what he's um, what he's been through uh, and not really playing very much last season, it's um, it, it, it's fantastic that he's back here now and he's uh, and he's like you say, providing goals and assists. A lot of the shouts when the lads arrived were for this man here, mm -hmm. Alejandro Garnacho. He's quickly become a crowd favourite, hasn't he? And already at his young age has surpassed 100 appearances for the club. That's, that's a pretty good record. It is pretty amazing. And from when I first saw him in the youth team when they won that uh, brilliant youth cup in, in 2022... Uh, you could see that he had all the attributes to be a top player. Obviously, he's only young and he's still got a lot to learn and he will, you know, inevitably have the odd bad game like anybody does, but he's certainly capable on his day of uh, of, of doing the, the brilliant. Uh, and sometimes in games, I'm hoping that's not tonight, uh, although a bit of brilliance wouldn't go amiss, but <laughs> uh, in, in, in games that are tight, somebody like him can be uh, can be the difference. I mean, you played in his position as a winger, although Garnacho prefers to be on the left, cutting in on his right. Uh -huh. You were, back in the day, the old-fashioned winger, well, was, the right yeah. foot of playing yeah. on the right. You don't see many of them now. Yeah. But you must be in a position to really appreciate the work that's gone on behind the scenes for, for Alejandro and um, how big an achievement it is to play as many games for the first team as he has. It's amazing. 
it's amazing. I mean, I always remember um, Eric Harrison, my old UT manager, saying to the, the lads in our dressing room that um, you you don't get considered a first team player until you've played 100 games. Well, he's done that now at a, at a really, really young age and thoroughly deserves to. He's an exciting player to watch. And we're hoping that, you know, besides him, there are other players as well that are going to get these, these fans that are going to be here tonight and for the rest of the season off the seats. An Argentina shirt there, Ben. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? The Argentina shirt with Garnacho on the back. It's amazing to see the fans who arrive are so well prepared as well to try and claim these autographs. The way the shirts are all ready. They're all, honestly, Sully, I, I was here really early today, like, you know, sort of half past two, and they were already here. It just shows how you know how massively keen they are to get a glimpse of some of these players and if they're very very lucky to get something signed by them yeah a few people were very happy to get something signed by Diogo there Diogo has been such a key player for us of course and will be so again tonight uh, just arriving now you've got Victor Lindelof uh, and Nusa Masrawi excellent how good has he been superb Superb from uh, I mean, he, he was the one, wasn't he, that he, he actually did play on his debut. Yeah. Um, and he was fantastic. And he was uh, he was certainly the pick of the bunch at the weekend. He was excellent. And yeah, he's, he, you know, he he's really comfortable was. on the right, comfortable on the left. I think he probably prefers the right, naturally, because it, 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 that, that's his favoured foot. Yeah. But he has been absolutely brilliant this season so far. Tom Heaton arriving now as uh, Holly, our... Camera operator walks over to capture Tom getting captured on film. Um, it's funny to see Tom. He's such a great guy, good goalkeeper, and we know him pretty well. So um, he is such the consummate professional. Again, is unlike we haven't seen the team yet. Is unlikely to play tonight. Yeah, you expect Onana to start, although Bayern Deer might get the start. We'll wait and see. We're bringing the team news as soon as we can, of course. But for Tom, just keep working behind the scenes and be a professional. He's dropped a pen there. It's not like him. <laughs> uh, but to be a professional, working with the other goalkeepers, working well, working hard, it's what he needs to do right now. Yeah, of course he does. Uh, and he's brilliant to have in the dressing room as well. Like you say, he's a, he's a proper character. He's incredibly good for morale. Um, and I'm pretty sure, well, I know that when they're training, they, they take it as seriously as anybody. They have a lap, but the goalkeeper's training is so much more intense than uh, than, than what the lads will do on a, on a normal week. You know, forget about pre-season. They don't half work hard, the goalkeepers. Doing but stuff on, on the floor at the time, it's hard. I'm Up telling you, yeah, it is really difficult. Impact on your body. Yeah, it is really difficult. Very physical. But they know sure. that that's what they'll have to do in a game, and we saw that with Andrea Nana. Uh, a couple of games ago with that fantastic double save and that's exactly why they work so hard all week for, for moments like those when they come around. But Tom is a great guy. Certainly is. And a very good goalkeeper, I won't very forget Very good, very, very good. If he ever does need to be called upon, he'll be fine. You can depend on him. No qualms at all. I've not mentioned Ahmad yet, actually. Um, obviously, he said a quick hello to us as he came through. Do you think he's been a bit unlucky not to play more recently? Because he started the season really yeah, well, didn't he? I do. He had um, he had an absolutely brilliant pre-season, scoring goals and really looked the part. Um, and then for some reason, uh, you know, in the sort of in the middle of this run of you know sort of 15, 16 games that we've had in all competitions, he seems to have drifted out of the not out of the squad but out of the starting lineup. Um, and he is another one, a little bit like Alejandro Ganacho, that can can make things happen when he uh, when he comes on. He's he's scorer of some fantastic goals, not just here but whenever he's been, especially at Sunderland last year. Um, and he's definitely somebody that gets the gets the crowd going when he either starts or he, he's direct. He likes to run at play. He's a winger, he wants to make things happen. And as that, we love seeing it. Yeah, we certainly do. You know, he might get a chance tonight because it's a team which might be changed by Rude. We don't know, as I said, the starting line -up. We'll find out, of course, in due, due course. But do you think Rude will be tempted to make changes and give uh, someone like Ahmad a start he, at the expense of Garnacho or Rashford? Yeah, he possibly could. I mean, we've had, what is it, four games in, it'll be four games in 11, 12 days, so 
you know, it starts when you're involved in all these competitions. It does start to take its toll, and especially if you, you know, if you've got injuries, which we, you know we know we have not as many as we did, but we still have them. So yeah, to utilise the squad. Listen, I'm taking nothing away from Pauk. They won the Greek League and they're not to be underestimated, as I said yeah. earlier. But whatever team Ruud van Nistelrooy decides to put out in whatever formation should be plenty good enough and capable enough of getting past this, this Greek outfit. I mean, we're huge favourites, aren't we? So we expect um, a victory. We expect quite a good victory as well yeah. against uh, Pauk. Yeah. Um, Casemiro and Bruno arriving now. Two key men. Casemiro has become one of the first picks in midfield of late. Yes, there's been a couple of injuries in there. Colby, for example, yeah. has been unavailable for selection. Mason Mount continues to work towards fitness. But Casemiro has done well, and his experience, his knowledge of European football is unbelievable. So he could be key. Bruno just walks towards the dressing room there. Of course, the captain is always going to be important. But two key men then. Casemiro now taking a few selfies with the crowd and signing a few autographs. Great player. Both of them. Uh, very, very influential. I mean, Bruno will be back tonight after he's banned in Turkey. Uh, and Casemiro, we've seen in the last couple of games what he can produce for us. None more so than... Uh, hey, Charlie. Than, uh, than uh, a... a an absolutely stunning goal, uh, you know, a week, uh, just over a week ago. So if you can do that again tonight to get the ball rolling, so be it. But as long as it's somebody that, you know, gets this crowd moving early doors. Yeah, 
So a number of the players have gone through. Still waiting on 